So one of the issues we're working on right now is uh, maybe raising the minimum wage. So there's a lot of arguments uh, against it, thinking it'll stifle corporations or uh, impede their ability to innovate, uh, that it'll raise unemployment. And there's really, there's not a lot of evidence for any of this. We see states with high unemployment and low minimum wages, and we see states with low minimum wages as, and high unemployment. A lot of people argue that that the minimum wage really only affects a small group of people and their teenagers and uh, you know fast food workers. But when you actually go to a fast food place or a restaurant and look at the workers, these aren't um, high school students. These are people that are heads of households, uh, middle-aged people that are um, trying to support themselves or support a family and they just can't do it. Many are working two or three jobs. And I think it's a moral question. There's something that in, in, in society, we need to ask ourselves, are we okay with people working full time or sometimes more than full time and they're still impoverished? This is a phenomenon that's relatively new um, with the growing inequality. It's supposed to be the part of the American bargain that if you work hard and play by the rules, then you'll at least be able to live here and have a decent life. But right now, um, you know, these people, they're not seeing that. Economists point out that there'll be thousands of people that will be lifted out of poverty with just a few dollars of pay increase. And um, to me, that's, that's very reasonable. Hopefully we can address that and see this uh, minimum wage increase uh, past this year. So yeah, look out for that one and submit your testimony and let me know what you think. All right.